What's up everyone, this is Saiyan Sight and I one back once again for some more Let's Play the Guided Fate Paradox. In the last part, we start off the second trial, and unfortunately we got our ass kicked by a supposed weakling. But now, after a bit of uh, grinding, as I'm going to show you, we're gonna we're gonna change things. <laughs> Most definitely. Even our tileless change, it went from uh, I believe. Uh, rookie God to Strong Arm God, which is basically the more uh, attack boost you have, the it's going to show up as that. And then we have Unyielding God, which is more defensive or possibly a balance between the two. And I only have a few spots left to open in this area, but I have lots, lots more to go through. And as for items, I did pick up a few apples, so I will take at least three of them. I thought I had a, uh, yes, yeah, escape room, but I guess I must have sold it, but I'm not too worried. I can take and put these on. Make sure we're all ready and set to go. Sadly, nothing really to do with Lilial right now. I'm not worried about the uh, headgear. Let me help. Let's do the graveyard smash. So for this, I'm going to be basically trying my best to get God Mode up and running as soon as possible, which will definitely involve a lot, a lot of grinding. But thankfully, I have Lilia doing the, the brunt of the work, since you can actually have her go away from you and start attacking basically everything. And that's why I packed so many apples. Yeah, so many. I packed three. In the meantime, I can still collect some items and then sell them for cash later on. Definitely helpful to have pistols for either you or Lilio for this. For obvious reasons. Thing is, with God Mode, it only goes up when you defeat me, not when Lilio does. So you have to get your hands dirty, not her. But the leveling up still affects both of you. They still make those stupid noises. I'm dead. Again, you're already dead. And I wouldn't worry too much about the poison. Doesn't doesn't affect you long enough for it to actually matter. And as you saw on our uh, the vinogram or. Just our stat board, as I'm going to call it from now on. Every time we level up, we're going to get at least 30 to strength and 30 to defense. Which, this early in the game, is quite a lot. And I do not care about your goddamn store. Oh, there is a thing in here. The money count is getting in the way. Hey. So if you can, definitely look around for as many apples or even mega beefies as you can, because those do restore some energy, but it's only five. Compared to the apples, 50. And there are apples later on that actually refill the whole thing. Just a hundred, right off the bat. But those are insanely rare. They won't show up until much later on. Can't even affect me. Impossible. No, I think you mean impossible. Say it right. 
Oh, and the shove one down my face. And try and get to try and get to this or the next floor. So we don't have to worry about getting away from the exit. I think level 10 should be good enough. That's about as high as I was able to go in my little training regimens. Yeah. Just love watching the dots just scurry around. It's also smart just to stay in the front of the entrance, that way you can just butcher whatever comes near you. And trust me, these things aren't going to be affecting you at all. Half the time you miss. In the meantime, the cash just rolls right in. Along with the, with the items that they drop. And it's time to pop another one. Alright, the god gauge is looking pretty full, but we still gotta keep going. Slowly but surely. Get out of here. Yeah, just keep running. This goes to show that you gotta keep training as much as possible. Did take off the animations because it does get a bit annoying after a while. But for this, they for uh, the main playthrough, just keep them on. They go by quickly enough. Okay, my inventory is full already. Eat some. Nah, I'm gonna save that. I guess I keep some healing items. There's God Mode. Now we let Lilio do her business. Let's look how many of those red dots show up. Even get that hurt. Okay. There we go. All right, asshole. Time for a rematch. First. Was that supposed to hurt? Because nothing happened. I'm 
who's the man now, bitch. Hmm. Damn it. Pick it up. Throw it over there. Oh, here we go. Hmm. It's time to show you how much of a god I really am. Go, spirit bullet. Pushing me away. And they're back. Get Weak. Just keeps on slapping me and it does nothing. Oop. In the boot. I'm so sick of these damn zombies. I go pick up the cash right here. Bring up my defense even more. tough when you try. That one attack got me pretty good. Oh, God. You're not weak at all, man. And you're definitely not alone. S sergeant I kept a firm eye on your fighting form. And yep, you're a sight to behold. Now then, this moment shall commemorate the time you graduated from your weakling status. Really? Despite the fact that I only wanted you to improve, I may have gone too far. Please forgive me. Th that's not... I was able to fight God thanks to your training, sir. Because you trained a weakling like me. <laughs> fool, a full fledged zombie shouldn't cry. What a beautiful display of love between student and teacher, is it not? Yeah, I mean. The scenery, not so much. But yeah, it's beautiful. Lord, the faint revolution circuit is about to shut down. You certainly are the all-knowing god. It appeared as if you had no concrete plan, but you had it all thought out. Didn't I tell you? I was serious. I made my choice. Well, I gotta admit, it was still a bit of a gamble whether or not it would turn out okay. Our job here is done, right? 
Thank you, God. I'll continue to do my best. Thank you for your help. Sacrificing yourself in that fight made my eyes fall out of their sockets. Scolding isn't the solution to everything. As a teacher, I was told to teach my students by using all my might. You are someone I truly look up to. Right next to the father of zombies, King George A. Romero. Thanks? I'm not sure if that's cause for celebration or concern. <laughs> Why not enjoy the compliment? You have certainly done enough to deserve it. today, Lord. You were so stupendous that there is no way anyone would think of you as a beginner. I feel that I got to see the true form of a zombie soul as you fought it and were punched repeatedly in the face, Lord. <laughs> I don't think I'm happy about that one. It may be rude of me to say, but I was a bit worried in the beginning. Now I partially see why the Lottery Machine of Destiny chose you. You keep calling it that. Wasn't that just a normal Lottery Machine at the mall? Silly Lord! There's no way a human could become God just through a regular old mall lottery. It is the Lottery Machine of Destiny, used since ancient times. A legendary artifact that can sense those with genes fit to become God. Genes fit to become God, huh? I somehow doubt my bloodline has divine DNA in it or anything. No, no, Lord. You have such a grand heart. After your first task, and now this, I am absolutely convinced that it is true. To get praised by such an adorable and angelic girl... Well, she's actually an angel, so... An angel is angelic by default, I guess. But at that moment, I was glad to have become God. Seriously, guys are too simple-minded. I really must be a fool. Oh, welcome back, Lord. I see you have finished your job successfully. That's quite the greeting, coming from a guy who can have a face like that, but give me a wish so utterly insane. I am unworthy of such kind praise. I have also fallen for you, because you learned how to grant such a complex wish. <laughs> fallen for me? I have prepared your meal, Lord. Please, follow me. Sure. I'm starving. Oopsie daisy. Looks like our little god is gonna get gobbled up by Galshion. That's okay. Sometimes I like to watch. Forbidden fruit indeed, tempting you into eternal darkness. Eclipse! Let us away to the VIP room! It's kind of creepy to see you two get along when it's a subject like that. Warrior angels. What a world. Our inclinations aside, Lilio, did anything happen this time? Direct contact from the Fate Revolution circuit, for instance? Not at all, Miss Lanael. No exchanges worthy of note occurred compared to the previous acceptance. I see. That is disappointing to hear. Perhaps the awakening will not be complete for some time, then. Aw, poor Lanael. 
Are you really broken up about this? To ask me that, you must have an ulterior motive. <laughs> oh, you're imagining things, sweetie. <sighs> she, she said she doesn't have any, so that's good enough, isn't it? I mean, God is steadily getting better at his job, right? Lilio? Oh, yes! There is not a doubt in my mind. Someday, God will certainly be able to defeat them. Pardon my asking, Lord, but have you ever heard the voice of a woman come from inside the Fate Revolution circuit? A woman's voice whispering directly into your mind? Directly into my mind? Hmm. I think I heard something like that, but I'm not quite sure. Sorry, I really couldn't tell you. My memory's a bit hazy when it comes to stuff that happens inside that machine. My brain's probably really confused by all this. I mean, tons of weird stuff has been introduced into my reality after all. Of course it is as you say. It is no small wonder. No, never mind. I apologize for asking such a boring and unimportant question when you are so tired. Do not worry. Um, so why is the room pitch black again? Hello. Can you hear me? How are things over there? Is my voice coming through clear? God is taking steps forward over here. That boy is still pretty wet behind the ears, but... <laughs> How about it? Have you not thought to see him with your own eyes? I can show you if you like. In truth, I have been running my own little experiment. Celestia's barriers are too strong on this side, so I cannot guide you in. But if it's within the machine that we use to train God, I wonder. I'm fairly certain I can open a gateway leading into there. Do not worry about me attempting to double-cross you and lead you into a trap. Such an attempt is useless on my end. After all, your stats are far more overwhelming than mine. <laughs> but I would like to have a little insurance on my side of things, by letting that boy grow up a bit more. So, this time, I must ask that you look, but do not touch. I also want you to experience the Fate Revolution circuit. It is not as though I am showing mercy to my enemy. I just wish for it to be fair. I will contact you once I am prepared. I see. I get the gist of her message. What think you? I believe we can accept her terms. No matter how strong God gets, he will be no match for you, Lord Satanael. Although, it would be a lie for me to say I hold no interest in seeing how the Fate Revolution circuit works. I believe it is appropriate to say that if you wish to dine on a lion cub, one must brave the lion's den. Although those angels have nowhere near the might to even be considered lions. <laughs> you speak the truth. Frunetti, do as you see fit. I leave the final decision with you. Give me a report later, whatever you choose. Understood. Actually, Lord Satanael? Hmm. Is there something else? How many books have you read now? This is my 7,934th. Frunetti, the act of discovering oneself may indeed be the best way to kill time. Oh. I see. After all that, yeah, I'm definitely going to save. Lots of exposition. 
big titty demon ladies. This is Shakado Private School, one of Japan's largest schools with both middle and high schools located in the same building. How many times have I passed through this school's gate now, I wonder? School's tiring. I thought that before, but it's different now. Trivial chats with classmates, boring, sleep-inducing lectures, and ordinary life it makes me happy. I bet this is the same happiness felt when soldiers or survivors of natural disasters return to their normal lives. It's nice. Well, but in my case, the fleeting moments of an ordinary life are just that. Fleeting. And, like, that zombie was so awesome! Every time a couple started making out, he ripped them up and devoured them whole! Man, it was so adorable. You gotta see it, Renya. Like, it's an order. Dummy. No matter how far and wide we look, you'd be the only middle school girl who talk about how adorable a zombie is. And thanks to your terrible influence, I know way more about zombies than ever before. So, thanks for that. Yo, Renya! Morning, dude. Coming to school arm in arm with your sister again, are you? <laughs> Damn. So lucky. I want a little sister, too. If you're serious about it, ask your parents to make one. Good morning, Kusanagi. Little Minamo, that's such a distant way to address me. Just say Atsuda. No, 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 try Atsi. Minamo, keep your distance, lest Atsuta's idiocy infect you as well. Uh, anyway, did you hear about the transfer student? That's not a rare thing for a school of our magnitude, you know. Yeah, but on her first day, she got into a scuffle with the motorcycle gang that hangs by the train station, and she beat him down! Oh, I heard they were sent to the hospital. Apparently she dropped 20 of them in a single attack. That's pretty suspicious. Is she like, a bodybuilder or something? Some kind of reclusive kung fu master? No, no, she's pretty much exactly like... that. Howdy! I'm the new transfer student everyone's spreading rumors about. Name's Riyazaki. Y you <laughs> I've come to pick you up, Lord. They really have to stop doing that. Uh, kinda. Finally. Okay, can I skip past this? Thank you. Now that you have to put that away, you fool. There we go. Jesus. Oh, those. Oh, you got some gems. Giga roast. Sounds ridiculous. Probably because it is. Try and unlock as much as we can here. Make it look nice and even. 